That was a fail. What is happening, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Kicks coming at you live from the info. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing great, man. Can't complain. Another day, another blessing. You guys already know how it goes. Let's turn the boost down on that. Nothing too crazy. There was a meet going down later, but I decided to um, pull up on the homies, the homie Dandy and a couple of the PQ people. I think they're at Urbandale right now, which is our local eighth mile drag strip. Uh, it's about 30, 40 minutes from me, not too far. So they're over there, I think, testing Dandy's car and uh, just messing around. So I'm gonna go pull up on them, see what's good. Every time I'm trying to get on the freeway or do something, they always got it blocked off. It's always like the exit that I need to take. So now we gotta take a detour. <laughs> don't care for like the eighth mile I truthfully prefer like the quarter mile but the closest quarter mile we have I think is like three four hours away I'm pretty curious to see how this thing would do on a prep surface with an actual burnout launching in second gear I think it would uh, be pretty quick so we're gonna have to try to lock that in soon all right guys we just pulled up I had no idea they were doing this too we got the Edgar activities going on. I'm just here for the track. All right, guys, let's see what's goody. Look who it is. Damn, bro, this camera's so dark at night. <whistles> Clean. That thing sounds crazy. Damn, is that a twin turbo R8? That thing look crazy. It's the first time seeing it black. You know my boy fast when he got the jacket. Hey, I'm proud of this guy though, man. Cause he's not really a racer like that. Do it for Tio. <laughs> Damn, that thing clean. Bro, that's so hard. Oh yeah, GTI did. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that little jet almost had him. <laughs> Bro went from selling hats to racing the tracks. We're rudely uh, interrupted by this thing. <laughs> this thing is just chopping. So sick. Hella fast. And we got kicks versus Mike Mike. That boy got a Tome. CTSV on CTSV crime. Bro 
close to that. I don't even need to do a burnout. Hey, the black one or the white one? Uh, I'm going for the white one. I got X drive. Oh, this is crazy. Trackhawk for the win, though. Snaps, we got an F. Crazy. On TEs too. 2014, maybe. Got the F in the seat. Nice, nice. All over me. I'm about to post this in the, the ISF group chat since I'm still in there. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn! The wheel came off. God damn! That prep is crazy. Damn, new M2? And check out that intake, dog. That's clean. Straight race car. Bro, his, his surge tank is in the passenger seat. That's crazy. Portillo. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, that lightning shit too. That is hard, bro. That one seventy? Sheesh. I oh, left the, the 170 playing. I'm not on my kill map. I'm gonna need a kill map for that one. He wants to play. just had some trash ass buffalo wild wings i ain't gonna lie buffalo wild wings is garbage the wings taste straight microwave like the wings that i buy from stater brothers and i put them in the air fryer taste better than anything these guys can make buffalo wild wings is garbage but yeah man we outies time to head home later compa, later, compa. hey alisco <laughs> ciao day two it's your boy kicks coming at you live from the shoe box ain't gonna lie the 340 looking noise
The hood, the lip, and the grill made the absolute biggest difference in how this car looks, honestly. I just took off that layer. Now we got another layer. <laughs> Man, I'm about to just say, hey, y'all can see it on the car. I don't feel like taking all this off and I don't want it to get scratched up. So here's a little sneak peek. You guys can see carbon side splitters. Pretty straightforward. I believe, yes, we still do have the check engine light. I have not scanned it. I just got the login info and just checked the code. And it seems like it's just a vent hose not connected right. So I'll clear it and uh, if it comes back, then um, I'll further inspect it. All right, so this is my first time actually driving on the 18s since I uh, fixed the fitment and I didn't have a bunch of weight in the back. The car definitely feels better. told you guys I'm like why is up shifting down shifting now and down shifting is up shifting paddles were upside down and I had no idea bro. like I didn't even pay attention now they're right but it's just because they were upside down so when I put them in that obviously triggered what's going on now so that's funny bro <laughs> but the good thing is there's no rubbing right now I hit a few pretty decent dips and there's no rubbing so 100% just downsizing from the 15 mil to the 8 mil perfected the fitment there's no rubbing we might be able to push it with a 10 mil but it's only two millimeters you ain't really gonna see a difference but um yeah man she's she's driving good this is functional no rubbing it works but honestly it looks good man with the meaty tires i really like it definitely the side splitters are going to change the look a lot uh we don't have the diffuser yet and the little side bumper splitters like this wheel combo, the color of the wheel with the carbon, it just goes together really nicely. Oh, a little antenna cap popping too. <laughs> Not bad, man. It looks clean. God, I hope this lip lasts at least for like a month. I'll be happy. Not bad for F30, right? For owning it for like three days. All right, guys, we are back. Side splitters are now installed. Very nice. Very simple, clean, not too aggressive. It's just enough what the car needs. Very nice, very nice. Dang, is that a G80? All over Louis. Looks really good. Shout out ABS Auto Body. Shout out my guys over here at Dialed In. So, um, probably doing the uh, calipers pretty soon here. Uh, I still want to convert back to the OEM studs. And, you know, we got some other stuff coming. I can still mess with the hood fit, man, a little bit more. But uh, overall, man, she looks good. So, you guys won't believe what happened. So, you know, I'm cruising yesterday, minding my business, just going about my day. I'm not driving fast. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just cruising. I hear a nice little t I'm like, bro, don't tell me. Mother Thacker. Windshield got a nice chip, and uh, it's already starting to spread a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see right there. Crazy, bro. The thing that pisses me off is I try my best to avoid trucks in general. Like, not just 18-wheelers, like regular trucks, anyone with big tires. I try to avoid them. Like, I literally go around them, do whatever I can. I do not drive behind them. Out of everyone I know, I have the absolute worst luck with windshields. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Bro, that has to be illegal. Ain't no way. Bro. And not only did I replace this windshield last week, I only drove this car like five times since I put the new windshield on. 
All right, so I'm about to go fill in this chip and then uh, we're gonna be heading over to my registration guy and finally getting this thing registered. If I register a car and I put my custom plate on it, you guys know the car might stay for a bit. <laughs> Is that an M4 dog? And we made it guys, over here performance registration. If you guys need any registration needs, definitely, definitely pull up and uh, they'll take care of it for you. Damn, is that a chaser? Sick ass, I'm telling you, it's the plug, I'm telling you. All right guys, we all done here. Let's go, you already know that was going on here. Needed that. So I kept this from the C63 and yeah, it honestly goes perfect with this car. It's a 340, so when you see RIP M3 on the plate, you know, they are gonna be pissed. Like, what do you mean RIP M3, bro? I'm gonna have a lot of, um. G80s and F80s probably trying to bully me in this thing. So that's how you know we got to make it fast. <laughs> so this thing needs to make minimum like seven something. Yeah, man, huge, huge shout out to my guys over here at Performance Registration. Whatever you need, man. Like I said, all your registration needs, definitely holla at them. And oh yeah, real quick, guys. I messed with the hood fitment and I actually got this thing fitting a lot better. Check it out. It's almost like OEM now. Fits pretty damn good. Pulled the bumper up, pulled the fenders in a little bit. Shit is fitting nice. Sheesh. Uh, one thing I need for this car, um, I need to get some new coilovers. Uh, I don't know how long these BCs have been on here. They ride good when the road is nice, but when the road is bumpy, like all of California, um, they're really bouncy. I tried to adjust them, but unfortunately, the nut that you're supposed to loosen to uh, adjust the dampening on the front ones is seized. Like even the shop tried to do it, he's like, nah bro, that shit is seized. I think it just needs to be stiffened up a little bit, but I just can't do anything with the front because it's seized. We might pull off the rear and try to stiffen the rear up a little bit to see if that helps. Oh nice, look at that. Alright guys, we pulled up. Here are my good friend, Bulletproof. Dang! 340? Dang! Got all the parts back here. Shout out my guy, Bulletproof Coating. So yeah, all the hot parts for the Z are now coated. Um, hopefully we can maybe put those on maybe next week, hopefully. So I'm gonna have them fill this in. It's not the worst, but... She clean though. Definitely needs a caliper change, so... Probably gonna be doing the calipers maybe next week. She's a little clicky. The blue is alright, but it's just, I don't know, it looks basic on the black to me. So, one thing at a time, man, but... This car is definitely coming together quick. It's like it was never there. That little, little thing right there. That. Crazy. 